Hello, I just wanted to talk about hollow and hollow projectors as such. Um, so the basic one you get with the uh, Mr. Michael Badley's file, which is the is a standard hollow uh, projector uh, with the back and the the, the front piece to it. Uh, there's also an insert uh, for LEDs. Uh, there's also a notch which uh, glues into that, as I've sort of got got here. Um, this is great. It's good for static. There's a bit which I think is more for sort of aesthetically looking nicer. But as you're not going to see the back, it doesn't really matter that much anyway. Um, and this will give you a static um, hollow projector um, that you can sort of move around uh, from the, the for the back. Um, I think once it's connected, up, you're going to get a bit of bit of movement in it. Um, if you're looking for a hollow projector for servo movement, there's another type which is also in Mr. Badley's files. Uh, which is this this one here? Uh, the difference is the the front and the back are uh, holders are different, so to allow some servos to be fitted uh, in these two slots here. Um, what I've sort of got is like that, uh, and a printed TPU uh, arm piece which fits over the servo horns uh, to allow the servos to move. Um, these are compatible with using with filthy hollow projector uh, files, which is on uh, Ben Reeb's uh, guide on, on the, the printed droid, uh, or um, you can just use the standard lights into there. Now, as you see, you've got, you've got the four, the four uh, holes for the four different LEDs. I think Michael Badley uses three white and one blue uh, for his, uh, to keep his, his going. Now, the problem I have with this is that it doesn't fit into the dome very well if you're also running things like TCs and dome panels open and you've, you've got a, a little less room to sort of to have. So um, the other option out there now is what I found is is, is this version here, which uh, is, is got a, a smaller footprint um, than this one um, and it stands up a bit taller, um, which is going to be easier to sort of put in a difficulty with this then you've then got to deal with um, the different uh, bits to go with it. Now, for me personally, I want to use the uh, filthy hollow LEDs, um, which is this, which I get quite cheap off eBay. I've used a couple of black standoffs uh, that you get in a sort of box uh, just to sort of bring it forward a little bit, and that protrudes enough to fit inside the actual um, hollow projector itself. Now, as they're threaded, you won't be able to use the files from Michael Badley's. You will have to then download. Uh, the filthy hollow ones which has got the, the thread in it now i like this personally because i can uh, then maintain it easier i can screw them in um in, into the into the slot and have it in there it then gives me a nice sort of a stable um connection in there uh, and if it gets broken I've, if i've got a dupont connector at the end it's straight in straight out without a problem at all um, which I quite like. Uh, it means I can always change things like the filters if they want to put different types on there. If I wish, I've got a lot more flexibility. There is another version of this at the back, uh, which is the uh, this type here, which is available for a slit ring. Now the problem with this, it doesn't really work well with this back. It's too high uh, and therefore you can't get the servo horns on it unless you tinker around with it and I don't have much knowledge on Tinkercad or CAD to sort of to do anything with that so that's why I've sort of come up with this one now what I've had to do is this uh, end here I've actually just extended the standard one the small type into a larger sort of size which this enables that to go inside the back of this hollow projector uh, and all work quite happily as you can see in here and the effect by using it I for that is, if I can get some power onto it, you can sort of see the lights uh, hopefully coming on in a minute. There, look. Uh, and that gives you the sort of hollow uh, projector on that. And that's what I use to use, and I connect it to a, uh, the budget uh, filthy breakout board, which is just an Arduino board, a breakout board with a, with a nano on it, uh, onto a Mark Duino and another Mark Duino. Uh, and that is... Uh, the hollows.